Now, six Alliance Boys High School students today denied assault charges against their fellow students and were released on cash bills of 20,000 shillings each. The mention of their case will now be on the 16th of March. Well, this comes as Kenyans continue to express their outrage following the revelations of an audit report by the Ministry of Education highlighting serious cases of bullying in one of the country's most high-ranking education institutions. The incident revealed the silent suffering of the boy child that society seemingly appears to have ignored. Our reporter Timothy Oteno explores the repercussions of that effect. The shock and anger experienced by Kenyans after grave cases of bullying was revealed at Alliance High School may only be a tip of the iceberg if accounts obtained at this rescue center for boys in Kiambu County is anything to go by. The street Nizer's children's home, meant exclusively for boys, deals in rescuing many who have abandoned or just chosen to run away from mounting abuse either at home or in school. One such child is this 17-year-old whom we'll choose to call David. David arrived here after running away from school, allegedly after being forced to pray to a God that his Christian background does not subscribe to. One time I was trying to go to church. They, even they could suspend me. Sometimes they could deny me food for two days. So there's nothing I could do because they were, they were the one in authority. His story is one that this other boy can relate to. Often at the age of six, he has spent time in between children orphanages and the streets after altercations with his guardian caused him to fend for himself at an early age. I decided to go back to where I used to. That is how I ended up in the streets of Napuru. But the two boys are just the lucky few who are able to get help courtesy of well-wishers such as Juvenalis Chalo, who owns this rescue center. Many more flee abuse from home and school and end up in the streets, ultimately diminishing their potential in a world of crime and drugs. There is so much empowerment for the girl child than the boy child. That's why I decided, let me work for the boy child so that I can at least see one transforming to who he is. Child specialists say that bullying both in school and at home has seen the boy child adapt differently to the society, perhaps making them misunderstood. You see, when the boy child has become abusive, you know, in that way, it's because they themselves have been abused. Maybe also they have been bullied or they have been physically violated or tortured in some way. So they become that. I do everything according to my will. And, and then here, I come, someone is putting boundaries to me. And now that's peer, it's like a peer pressure. You're saying, hey, who is this person to tell me to do this? And yet for the past around eight years, I've been I'm quite independent, Kivyangu. Rescue centers such as street nizers are left shining a beacon of hope in a dark world that has seemingly ignored the boy child. The time I was there, I accepted to be held by him. On this day, we find Stephen Maura mentoring the boys. You see, Stephen was once a resident in this very place, having been picked from the street by a well-wisher. Now, years later, and an education graduate from Masinde Muliro University, he often comes back as a volunteer to teach other boys. You to become who we want to be in the future. All in the hopes that one day the boy child too will be given the attention they deserve and help them navigate through life just like someone once did for him years back.